In the 15 years following the Second World War, it's estimated that over 3 million people emigrated from the east to the west in Germany. The problem of a dire manpower drain was now a top priority for the East German leader, Walter Ulbricht, and in 1961, along with his deputy Erich Honecker, he arranged for the building of the Berlin Wall. Just months before the wall started construction, Ulbricht announced to the international press that there were no such plans in the offing. When the East German authorities were building the wall, they had no problems with placing it in the middle of cemeteries, like this one here. They simply pulled away the headstones, cleared the ground, and put up the wall. And there's still a bit of it here today. In fact, this is probably the most impressive remaining part of the Berlin Wall still intact. Despite continuous government calls urging people not to attempt an escape, it's estimated that at least 10,000 tried and around 5,000 actually made it. Gunther Litvin, a 24-year-old tailor, summoned the courage to flee East Berlin just 11 days after the communists had sealed the border. Just after four o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, August the 24th, 1961, Gunther jumped into the warm waters of the Spree Canal at the Humboldt Harbor in an attempt to reach the west on the other side. But standing above him in a nearby bridge, a transit policeman spotted him, shouted five times for him to stop, but there was no response from Gunther. He just kept swimming with more determination. The first bullet struck him, when he was just 10 meters away from the shore of West Berlin. Gunther Litvin would be the first person to be shot dead whilst trying to escape from the east. His brother is Jürgen Litvin. Jürgen says there were no calls from the authorities or police department. The family found out that Gunther had been shot whilst escaping on an evening news broadcast on West German television two days later. West of the wall, I'll wait for you. West of the wall, our dreams can all come true. Some escapes were ingenious. One woman hid under the hood of a car, and two families floated over the border in a hot air balloon. Even some soldiers escaped, and on August the 15th, 1961, the first member of the East German People's Army leaped to freedom. Of all of the many iconic photographs which were taken during the period of the Berlin Wall's life, the most iconic was taken right here on this spot because it was behind me that a 19-year-old East German guard called Konrad Schumann decided to take his chance and jump over the barbed wire into the west. The young border guard was about to be devoured by history. A photographer mingling with onlookers on the western side of Bernauerstrasse captured the leap of freedom and the Cold War pinup was born. By 1963, the Berlin Wall had taken on a distinctly permanent nature. The US President, John F. Kennedy, made a groundbreaking speech in Berlin, offering American solidarity to the citizens of West Germany. But it appeared there was little he could do about the wall. I know of no town, no city, that has been besieged for 18 years, that still lives with the vitality and the force, and the hope, and the determination of the city of West Berlin. Today, in the world of freedom, the proudest boast is, Ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> 